Hey, welcome to this week's edition of midweek slash end of the week manna. Amen. Um, you know, we are still patiently waiting, uh, W-A-I-T-I-N-G, on the official outcome of the election. Now, this this isn't a, a political post this morning, but I, I, I want to plant some seeds to, to help us get through. We're patiently waiting, uh, most of us, to, to, to see that outcome. But some of us are actually patiently waited um, <laughs> as in as in heavy burden and heavy laden um, on the uh, on the official outcome or or sometimes we're, we're weighted down on um, on the covid cases that are rising or we're weighted down on the on the illness or of a loved one or maybe it's an illness of yourselves. You know, whatever whatever the case may be, um, don't patiently wait. W-E-I-G-H-T. You need to patiently wait on the Lord. In other words, um, God has uh, designed things for us specifically so that he will get his glory, but also so that he will show himself strong in our lives. You know, I'm reminded in the, in the book of Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6, this is where uh, the good Lord had led me uh, yesterday, and I wanted to really get this post off on uh, last night, but uh, due to some other opportunities, I wasn't able to do so. Um, but Hebrews 11 and 6 says, and this is the King James Version, um, but without faith, it is impossible to please him, him meaning God, for he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Now, now, now I hope you I hope you really got that word because that is some some powerful word uh, coming out of Hebrews chapter 11, um, verse six. But but Hebrews chapter 11 um, is is typically called the hall of faith. Amen. Because it, it gives us so many examples of uh, uh, biblical characters and biblical leaders that have had to have the faith in God, even when they didn't see him. Uh, at work, sometimes physically, but they knew he was at work uh, in the spirit realm. And so Hebrews 11 and 6, I mean, let's listen to it again as I break it down just a little bit as we patiently wait and not wait on the Lord. Um, but without faith, you must have faith. It's impossible to please God. It, it it won't work. It's it's like a soup sandwich, you know, a, a liquid bowl of soup. If you try to make a soup sandwich, you take uh, two pieces of bread and you put that soup on there and then you try to, it, it won't work. It just won't work. Without faith and trust in God, um, it's impossible to please him. Now, it, it never did say that, that God doesn't love you because we lack faith, but um, you get the benefits of God working things out when you have faith in him. For he, that's us, that cometh to God must believe that he is. So in other words, when we approach God, when we when we have this relationship that we have confessed um, uh, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and when we have this relationship to God, when we come to him, we understand and believe that he is God. In other words, that he is the great I am and he is the great he can. <laughs> and he is the great. He will. Amen. Uh, those are my words, but uh, except for the I am that belongs to God. But we have to know that when we come to God, that he is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ask or think. Um, and then it says that that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Now, think about that. God will take care of us when we are diligently seeking him, when when we are are. <laughs> All our eggs should be in one basket, and that is to trust God when it comes to this. We can we can put all of our trust in him. We don't have to worry about how the stock market is going to go up or down or our 401k is going to be increased or decreased. No, 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 no. That's not God. That That's man. God is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. So while we're patiently waiting, W-A, <laughs> amen, we can certainly not be waited, W-E. We can trust God and we know that at whatever time he decides to bless us, it will be a reward because we have diligently sought after his glory and his mercy and his understanding and his wisdom and his knowledge. And do I need to keep going?
<laughs> That's this week's manna. Take care. God bless. Until the next time.